people i hope you're all doing well today's video is dedicated to shrek again i know i know i'm doing a second part of the shrek x i had revolution collection and this will be the closing uh, part of the whole shrek collection i had to purchase also the fat quad palette and also the godmother I know what I said I said that they don't have that color schemes that like are drawing my attention but I'm a makeup collector in some ways and I, I told myself like for the sake of the characters I have to get this another part of the collection that I purchased in Slovakia and that is the Shrek eyeshadow palette that I created this look with and also guys the mirror <laughs> I'm so excited this whole collection is stunning stunning in today's video I'll be using all of the palettes except the donkey one because I already did a really quick simple and beautiful look with that palette that you can watch somewhere here before we start i would really appreciate if you would give this video a thumbs up also if you would subscribe to my channel that also helps me and it costs you nothing just a one click and i would also really appreciate you subscribing my channel because it gives me motivation to create more content if it's makeup, book or in general related and if you do click then thank you so much if you want to know how I created this look or any other look using these three palettes then you can keep watching so let's get into it so let's start with the Godmother palette she has really beautiful pinky tones I dipped into the shade called Hero and I put that shade all over my eyelid then I kind of tried to blend that color just a little bit then I dipped into the shade called Tea Drop which was stunning lilac -y color and I put that one in my outer corner and as you can see it brightened up the pink even more and I had to dip into one of the shimmers I mean come on and I tipped into the shade called Tavern and I put that one all over my eyelid and to be honest I was not that impressed with this shimmer then I dipped into the shade called happiness to blend out the edges a little bit then I took my Huda Beauty brush and I dipped back into the shade called Tea Drop and I put that shade in my inner corner and then I took like smudging brush and I dipped back into the pink shade I tried to put that shade really close to my lashes and to connect it to the inner corner so of course I had to dip into that blue it was kind of giving me like a glitter tears wipes because the glitter was actually falling onto my face and that was it that was the godmother really quick pinky eye look let's move on to the shrek palette oh my goodness i'm so happy that i purchased this this is really big palette it looks like this on the inside and even those names are so freaking cute like we have triplets or like mud bath we even have a shade called onions that's so freaking cool it also comes with a massive mirror if you like big mirrors let's get into the shrek head palette i'll be dipping into the ogre shade and i'm taking this mirror and i'll put this shade i think all over my eyelid oh that's stunning green Ooh, 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 and so pigmented right away I had revolution what did you do with your formula I'll be dipping into the shade called forest which is the deepest green in here and I'll be putting that in the outer corner with circling motions and then really focusing the shade on the outer corner and then slightly bringing it into my crease and kind of blend it i mean i have green eyes like light green eyes so i don't know if this 
whole green look will complement my eyes. Like, do you also have your favorite number? And do you kind of like feel some connection to that number if you have your favorite and your least favorite number? Comment down below and let me know if you also have feelings towards numbers and colors because I read somewhere that you can feel colors and you can feel numbers. I, I don't know, it's really strange, but you can like feel something when you talk about specific color or specific number. And I would really like to know if any of you have this type of strange feeling or like connection, because I think I do. I'm not gonna lie. I've been always, always obsessed with the number five. I've been so connected to the number for example, uh, when I was younger, we lived on the fifth floor. My birthday is on the 23rd of October. And when, you, when you do 2 plus 3, it's 5. Oh my god, I, I've got goosebumps just talking about it. I despise number 6. I cannot. I hate that number. I really do believe in astrology and these type of things. And according to Chinese horoscope, but now... I don't know what type of animal I am in the Chinese horoscope. I don't remember. And listen, apparently according to the Chinese horoscope, my favorite number should be six and my unlucky number should be five. And I'm not even kidding. But to me, it's like opposite. My favorite number, my lucky number is five and my unlucky number is six. I'll blend the edges with this shade called Trust. Trust, it's the first one. The first one that caught my eye was the shade called Swamp. So I think I'll dip into that one and I'm using my finger. By the way, I also forgot to mention that I'm using my donkey lipstick and my gingy highlighter as well. Why did I forget about that? Now I think I'll dip into the shade garden because I cannot resist. And I'll put that one in the other corner and I'll try to kind of connect it with the other shimmer that I already put. Guys, look at that. Are you kidding me? That is so beautiful. I will kind of blend it with the shades. Beautiful shades. I'll put in the inner corner the shade called Onions. Now we're gonna move to the bottom part of the eyes. And I think I'll dip into the shade called Forest again, which is the deepest green. And I'm really putting it really close to my lash line. We're gonna dip into the shade called Triplets, which is this one. And this shade has a bit of kickback. This one will connect with the shade called Forest and we will also connect with the shimmer. Oh wow, this green is also beautiful. Okay, you guys, this is the final look of the Shrek palette. I'm impressed. I really like this whole look, how it turned out. For the Lord Fat Quad, I had to not only change my top, but also my wig. It gave me really like dark vibes, but yet again, I was really impressed with this palette. Of course, I right away dipped in the shade called Perfection. And I put that one all over my eyelid and I started having problems with my eyes because they started to be really watery and I think that's because I was switching a lot of eye looks. And then of course I had to dip into the black shade called Perfect Place and I put that one in the outer corner. But my eyes started to be really watery and they started to break the shadow and of course I had to dip into the shade called Kingdom. I put that shade in the center of my eyes and I kind of connect it to the black shadow. I mean, come on, I had to dip into the shade called Mirror, which is this beautiful yellow gold color. And I put that one in my inner corners. Yeah, and I kept saying wow. And then I dipped again into the black shade. 
and I try to connect like not to drag the shadow all over the bottom part of your eyes the look itself is really stunning it's just my eyes were not good at that point but yeah overall I really was vibing that look so for the Puss in Boots eyeshadow palette I tipped right away in the shade called Boots and this time I wanted to create like something like a graphic eyeshadow type of look I kind of created like an eyeliner and then I kind of created another line and I connected right above my crease then to kind of blend that shade I dipped into the orange shade called Dare Then I dipped again in the shade called Boots because I wanted to deepen it again just a little bit. Then I dipped into the shade called Fear Me, which is the lighter shade in this palette, to just really blend out the edges. Of course, I had to dip into the shade called Fubo, which is the golden shade, and I put that inside of the eye shape that I created and in the inner corner I used the shade called Outlaw for my bottom crease or I don't know how that is called I used again the shade called Boots which is the darkest shade and I just kind of connected it with the liner that was the final look I mean super easy and quick you don't even have to spend hours of creating that look it's just so beautiful and so fierce I would say so that's it for it today guys as again super quick easy makeup tutorial using actually five palettes you can also comment down below if you have something from this Shrek collection and if you have like what is your favorite product if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate that and you can also subscribe to my channel that helps me and it also keeps me motivated to do more content for you so then you can watch and be inspired as well or recreate some of my looks and um, you can also follow me on instagram where i post some makeup tutorials sometimes i post about my book sometimes i post about my life because why not thank you for watching this video thank you for stepping by and i hope you enjoyed this video but yeah so see you in the next video and that will be in slovakia so see you there bye guys and have a nice evening bye